Andy Johnson. We are looking at a professional code of ethics for teachers. Ethics are principles that guide behavior. They define or describe what are, what is the correct conduct. Now, teacher ethics are statements that describe what is acceptable conduct for educators what teachers should or shouldn't do. Now, it may help to think of the following areas. We don't have to, but this gives us some sort of structure, thinking about conduct towards students, towards the teaching profession, towards colleagues, and conduct towards parents and or community. That may help us. Here is the Minnesota Code of Ethics for Teachers. Provide services in a non-discriminatory manner. Make every effort to protect the student. Shall not disclose confidential information. Shall take reasonable disciplinary action in an exercise in authority. Shall not use professional relationships for private advantage. Making money off colleagues, students, or parents. Shall not delegate re authority for people that don't hold license shall not deliberately suppress or distort subject matter, shall not misrepresent records relating to your qualifications, shall not make false or malicious statements about students or colleagues, and shall accept a contract for a teaching position that requires licensing only if that person is licensed for that position. All right, 10 very general statements. So think about this. What ethical standards should be used to enhance our profession? We have to start policing our own. What rules of conduct should be developed to hold all educators accountable? Some ideas to think about. Conduct towards students, and you can stop these and read these at your le leisure but we need to be prepared both socially and emotionally for our students. We need, we have an obligation to use a variety of research-based strategies to enable all students to reach their full potential. Every student deserves to be treated with respect and courtesy, unconditional positive regard toward other educators, toward our profession, continued growth and development, we must hold our profession in respect. We do not prepare finished teaching products. You must continue some professional development plan. Reflective practitioners. Am I using research-based strategies? Did I do a good job of teaching? Am I in alignment with my philosophy? Speak up on issues related to education and best practice. Toward my colleagues. Respecting my colleagues, share best practice and towards the community, and you can stop and look at this if you wish. But the big point here is what ethical standards should be used to enhance our profession? What rules of conduct should be developed to hold all educators accountable?